Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of My Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It's the morning of day 37. Could be a horror today, it's either today or tomorrow, one of the two. Got my inventory all loaded up here. Mostly foodstuffs and that. I took the farm apart last night, all the crops had grown so I harvested all them. I did however dump a couple of uh, points, skill points, into um, living off the land to maximize my return. And I also found out that if you make an iron hoe and use the hoe, to harvest crops, you get like double back what you what you get in them. So um, I didn't make the hoe. I'm actually making the hoe right now. We're going to grab that before we leave. Uh, I'm going to put my last two points that I got. I'm going to put these into uh, sous chef. I think we're going to finally go with uh, try and get better recipes here. It takes a little bit to make stuff, but um, we'll worry about that later. Now the hoe should probably be done now. Yep, it is. We'll take that with us. So our inventory is completely full. We're going to get over to the new base, drop all this stuff off, go do that quest for Bob, um, and then loot that building, that warehouse that we hit up the other day that we didn't get a chance to finish looting. Alright, here we are. Ah, looks like we got a few, a few locals to welcome us in. Last night was so quiet, I guess because we killed so many zombies. I don't know why I did that, I can't pick it up. Ah, uh, grab that in a minute. Ah, uh, let's put this stuff inside. I do have seven more, um, uh, bot lick, uh, storage boxes to put down. I'm not gonna do that right now, though. I, I might have to, I don't know, we'll see here. Let's see what we can just squeeze in. A bunch of stuff in there. A bunch of stuff in here. And then whatever's left over in here. Perfect. We'll worry about that, setting that up. I think we're going to stay here tonight. Uh, depending. If we have a horde, we might go back to the old... Well, we'll go back to the old base, obviously, but... If we don't have a horde, we'll probably stay here tonight and get stuff sorted. But let's murder these locals. Now that I don't have to worry about lag. It's so much better. Should have did this earlier. But I was really hoping I could resolve the lag issue. But, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, let's go off. Uh, let's grab the cobblestone, though. I definitely want that. So, we're gonna go do... Yeah, the job first. So, let's go over there. Here we are. It's around back. Alright. I was like, I knew the place was here somewhere. Alright, looks like we can get some good resources out of this place, too. Should get a couple for hitting that now. Alright, we gotta clear out the locals. Let's do that first. Yeah, so every time I hit one of these I get a couple of, uh, a couple of items now, which is awesome. Three up, three down. Looks like we got a radiated in there. Come on, you guys. I got shit to do. Feral sense, man. It's insanity. At a certain point, like... You, you won't get killed by the zombies, like the regular zombies at a certain point. But what you do have to watch out for are those, like, random strays. And the fact that the uh, wandering hordes know exactly where you are. You know, that's the worst part. There's no... Oh, geez, there's a wandering horde. I can just hide. Like, no, you can't hide. They know exactly where you are. These guys are coming in from downtown. The worst part about this too in Darkness Falls is it really jacks up your game stage quickly because you're leveling up so fast. Somebody over there banging on stuff. I think we're good though. Let's start this sucker. Oh, it looks like the guy down here changed. Let's uh... Clear this out a bit. Probably a guy hiding in there. I was really hoping the car alarm would go off this time. Oh, nail gun. What, nobody here? Ah, fuck. Why do I open my mouth? It's like every time. Oh, where are you? You piss off. 
Yeah, I got a midair. Oh. I think she bled out. I thought I was going to hit her there and she bled out before I hit her. Alright. So the thing is on this floor. Uh, let's see what we got here. Alright, a little bit of supplies. I'm going to take this apart. Simply because we don't have, like, all of our material is, most of our material is back at the old base. So we don't really have a lot here to make stuff with if I need to make stuff. Might as well grab these. We got somebody coming too. Good thing about this battle axe, and technically it is a battle axe, is that I can, uh, where are you? There you are. Doubles as a weapon. Albeit not a very good one, but it, it does double as a weapon. That was a weird sound. And why won't you let me, uh, there we go. La Hag! Always the first time. Every time I start up to play this game, the first time I open a bag, it, like I get massive lag, lag for some reason. It's bag lag. Of course, this isn't the first bag, though. We opened one by our, by our place, but I don't know. Don't know what to say. Let's grab these resources here. I gotta watch. There's a bear around the front. He was molesting a zombie when I got here. Ooh. All right, let's get in here. I'm gonna take this car apart, but not yet. What do we got here? A backpack. I'm gonna grab the cloth because all our cloth is back at the other place. Anything good in here? Nothing. That's broken. Ooh, some cupboards here. Check these guys out. Okay, there should be somebody in here, I think. Yep. Nope. Not anymore. Trash up there. Locked door. That's not bad. Grab the paper. I got seven lockable storage boxes that I brought with me. So we got plenty of uh, space for the new base to bring everything over with. Let's grab that for electrical parts. Anything in here? Oh, there's some stuff we can sell. So it's around this way. There should be a couple of zombies in here, too. I don't like being in a basement when there's wandering horde hasn't shown up yet. Come on, you guys. Only fools rush in. She ran in and got killed. She didn't know what she was dealing with. That was what it was. Ooh, lockpick. We burned through a few of those in the past few days. I think this is where the treasure is. Yep. Um, we got some time. Let's go finish this place. I don't know if there's a horde yet, so I don't want to be burning out too many quests today unless I have to. Like, I mean, we still need to do a bunch of quests for Bob, but uh, we can hold off here. Anybody? Oh, hey! Make sure you die first. Grab those, and you can lose your regen. And get your ass handed to you. Alright, let's check the kitchen out real quick. Some pipes. Take that. Break this up. That's it, right? Right. Let's just take apart some easy stuff here. I'm not taking the fridge apart. I will take this apart, though. We got tons of brass, but I want to start a... Uh... Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? God, the rate of fire of the spear. Ah, an M4. Beautiful. And two rocket launchers. <laughs> ah, yes. We gotta make the horde base rocket launcher friendly, I think. Oh, some more stuff we can sell. Uh, what's in here? Some trash. Ooh, schematics. Some duct tape. Uh, we'll take this bed apart for the springs. 
And I think I'll take this apart as well for the brass. It's only a bit, but it's fine. Take those for the dies, because we got our dies over here now. I think we're going to have to stop back at the house. I delayed him for a bit, eh? We'll have to stop back at the house, I think, before we go loot that building. Hmm. I'm not going to be making contact grenades, though. Not yet, anyway. We'll get it in the scientist when we rank the scientist up a bit. I would rather have the pages right now, I think. Try and get a mastery book as soon as we possibly can. Take those. That's locked. Actually, let's take you apart. I don't think we have leather here. Actually, was there any leather back? Ah, I'm not going to bother. Not going back. Loot room. That's got to hurt, huh? Oop, I meant to hit Big Mama. You got in the way. Oh, and you paid for it. And you're dead. I think that's it. We managed to get that dog in one shot, which is nice. Um, I kind of want to go down there, but I kind of don't. Let's scrap you. We got the main loot. Let's get out of here. Normally, I haven't. I like most of the fetches. I haven't even gone this far, so. But I figured this was a small enough house. Ooh, high RPM motor for a chainsaw. Okay, we got a few things. All right, let's get out of here. Um, let's go right through the wall here. Into the backyard, because I do still want to take this car apart. That'll give us a bit more gas. Uh, okay, I'm not going to take any more apart. Let's put the gas in the bike. we got a couple repair kits. The bike's down and repairs as well. So let's see if we can get a couple of those into the bike. No more repair kits? What are we at? 63%? That's not bad. There's that bear. Alright, let's see what Bob's got for us. Yeah, we got a horde tonight, so we're going to be going back to the old place. It must be my lucky day. Thank you. Uh, there let's you take... We're, we have, like, no gunpowder. So I'm thinking about taking that for the gunpowder, but maybe we just... Let's go for the money. Let's just go for the money. Alright, can I see your inventory? We're going to sell a few things here real quick. Uh, I don't think you want that. Oh, he does want that. Well, that's good. Don't need the lever action rifle. The Winchester... We, yeah, I think we can just get rid of it. Going to sell the cooking pot... There's a bunch of other stuff I want to sell, but I want to pull the dice off, and we can get rid of that. That can go. That can go. That's a better battle axe, so we'll hang on to that. Uh, high RPM chainsaw motor. Um, I'm not, I don't plan on using the chainsaw. This is the semi-group, right? Don't need that either. I'll hold on to it. If I get a chainsaw, I don't know. I might use it. I might not. I'm not really big into power tools. Like I said before, it's because it, I just call in screamers so quickly, and I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of fighting screamers. So, because in Darkness Falls, the screamer hordes can get real nasty, especially when they call in other screamers. You think you've killed one, then there's another one, and then they call another screamer, and there's another one. Did I just, just, yeah, let's not do that. Come on, focus on one thing at a time, man. Um, but yeah, like I'm not really big, I, I'm not big on the Screamer Hordes. You could argue that it's great for generating XP, but I'm getting so many zombie kills now without even having Screamer Hordes, there's no point in, uh, exacerbating my situation by calling it a ton more, you know? Alright, let's get this sorted. This should add a point to Machine Gunner, which we'll do in a second... I think that's it. Actually, you know what? Um, do I want to merge these? I think I do. Which means I'll bring this back. This what? Uh, 11. We'll bring those back with us. Alright, Bob. I got some more stuff to sell you here. Eh, we're not going to need that. Let's just sell what we can here. I'm actually going to sell these dies rather than scrapping them to make a little bit of coin. Not a lot. I know we could use the orange, but we're, we're good. 
sell all this stuff. All that stuff. All the arrows, 206, that's not bad. The red and blue we're keeping. Yeah, we're getting there in coin though. We're doing pretty good on coin. Um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, back now. I'll be back, you know that. Got any jobs? Um, fetch to the east, fetch to the north, tier four. I'm gonna try and find a place we haven't been to yet. What's I'm in a bit of a refinery? Can you sure. Go? Thank you. I'll bet sure. So we could do fetch clears. I think if I was playing a regular series, I would do fetch clears. But because, like today, I had no idea if we had a hoarder not coming, so it's just not really feasible. Like I mean, I could do it, but I'd be wasting so much time. And I could pull off like a couple, maybe two, maybe three regular fetches in the in the time it would take to do like a tier two, a, a tier three or tier four clear. So it's just, you know, time wise, it's a little better just to do fetches. But anyway, let's go in here. We don't have a lot of time today, so let's go in and loot the stink out of this place. To drop as much of the bike as we can. Not a lot. Let's grab stuff that might get doubled up in here. Like those things and put the stuff that I don't think we're gonna find in this place in here um, probably not gonna find that forged iron and glass jars probably uh, paper for sure oil we might this receiver can go the iron can come with us uh, one leather can come with us mm, what else cloth can come with us we might find those but that's fine actually Probably better to go that route. We can put this back at six. Oh, the, the 54, or the, uh, those rounds can go in there, I think. All right, let's loot this place. Worst case scenario is we get a, a wandering horde while we're in here. But then at least it'll be like, we can see how well this place would do against the, a uh, horde. If we ever decide in the future, or if I decide in the future to turn it into a base, you know? Because the one thing I do, like, I wish I could just do, like, a base building series where I give myself X amount of resources and just go into each POI that I find interesting and see how well we can fortify it against the horde, you know? I want to grab the resources first. The boxes we can get in a second. The boxes are going to encumber us with everything that's in them, so I just want to grab the uh, lighter stuff first. Now, I know there's a whole bunch of material up here. Yeah, see, the zombies couldn't get up there, right? So if we're um, making a base, like up here, you could be up on the catwalk and they don't have a way up to you. Now, they're going to go into destroy block mode, but then you could also set it up so that you have... Oh, actually, they do have a way up right here. Yeah, so it's not like you could get away from them. Uh, I think I, I looted all this stuff down here, I think. Yeah, you'd have to knock out these stairs. Then you'd be fine. And we looted all this. So we're working our way back now. Cool. So this is done. Let's grab the wrenchable stuff up here. That's easy. I'm not going downstairs. Cabinet's empty. What do we got in here? Flashlight. Filing cabinet. Be vehicles for dumb ships. We'll just go ahead and scrap that. I'm not going to wrench all that. I should be taking these apart, though. I got a feeling we're going to be using a lot of regular shotgun ammo. So we're going to need as much paper as we can get as well. So I might as well just take this paper. It's not a lot, but it'll be another 23 rounds in total. All right, what do we got on this side? More paper. Got a tiny bit of a lag spike there. I have no idea the watering hordes coming out. Got most of this stuff done. I don't hear anything. It doesn't necessarily mean anything though. I think we got all the boxes now though. I've got almost all of this other stuff too. Yeah, it's pretty quiet out there. I think we're okay. 
I really hope the Wandering Horde comes when I'm, like, riding my bike. This is the last box, I think. Alright, we got a bunch of stuff. I'll check you, I'll show you here in a second. Um, but we got a whole ton of stuff that we're going to drop off at our new place. Before going back to the house, let's take this apart. Let's take this apart. Alright, that's pretty good. Uh, that's the, yeah. That's the break room that we've already been into down there. Grab some more electrical parts. Don't think I can reach those. Oh. Why do I open my mouth? Can you reach those? No problem. One last one up on the crane here. I think that's it for this place. So, yeah, we didn't get a lot in the boxes. A lot of uh, crowbars. A crap ton of crowbars we found. But not much else. Which leads me to believe this might be box specific. Like box specific loot. So... Yeah, you know, whatever. That's fine. I mean, we did okay on electrical parts. We made some mechanical parts. Got a lot of plastic, a lot of paper for shotgun rounds. So, yeah. Let's get out of here and drop this stuff back at the uh, our house. So we passed by the refinery the other day. There it is again. This should be interesting. Because they changed this from before. It used to not be able to get in right away. Like, there used to be bars all the way around it. You used to have to kind of jump over it. There's like a refinery truck there. It's pretty cool looking now. So it's, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what that's like once we get in there. Some of the POIs, like I said, they, they've changed them slightly. They've kind of updated them. They look really cool. Like the eye candy company, that's kind of cool too. I, I was playing around with uh, building bases in Alpha 20. And that's kind of a cool place to build a base. It takes a bit. I can't remember if I actually re showed the video where I, I set up like a... Uh, a drop base like right here you can kind of build a, a base where you can drop shit on the uh, zombies um, I may have done a video I can't remember I know I recorded something I just don't know if I uh, ever posted it it was it wasn't really that exciting but it was it's interesting because you can turn pretty much any POI into this game into a half decent base all right let's grab um, you know what I'm gonna worry about trader stuff you know what we may have time to go to Hugh Let's grab some of the better crowbars for sale. Those he might buy. Tanning rack he might buy. The die. Uh, did we find this or did we bring this? We found this one. Do we have a wire tool here? I think I left one back at our other base, but I can't remember. You know, I'm going to leave that one here. God, we got so much shit, man. I'm not going to need this, so we're going to sell that. God, I'm so... Every time I stare at these books, it's like, it's just a analysis of my failure. Those three can go to Hugh. That can get sold. That's getting sold. Uh, come on, man. I got to think this can get sold. That's my 50 grand. We almost got 100,000, so we got almost got enough for a mastery book now. Okay, let's go... Yeah, we've got no quest to turn in. Can I drop? I can double drop. Cool. So let's go um, straight to Hugh, I think. I wish this was like a, what the Wandering Hordes were like at this stage of the game, but it's not. All right, do we have enough time to go to Hugh? We do. We've got plenty of time. I'm going to go to Hugh. Uh, if we can stop and mine some nitrate and stuff, I'm going to do that as well. If I can get some nitrate and coal, because we need gunpowder really badly. I made that 7.62 ammo, like 300 rounds of 7.62. And like we have no gunpowder left. So hopefully Hughes got some when we get there, but we'll find out in a minute. I'm going to have to designate some time, I think, to digging up uh, some of these treasures out here again. Maybe we take a day and uh, just go on a drive and dig up all of the treasures. Oh, this place still exists. I thought they changed this place. So this is the one, there's an underground bunker under here with not too much in it, but they've got another place that's like this, that's got a bunker like over here a bit. So I guess they just added a new POI that was a little different. Ooh, I gotta kill this guy. See if he's got hazmat. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. So they've, um, I guess the people that were working on the compo pack, which is the um, P 
POI pack, I guess it just, uh, uh, well, I don't guess, it, it adds, like, I think it's over 200 individual POIs to the game. Now, my past versions of Darkness Falls, we've had that installed, so there's all these different POIs. I kind of like that, because once you've played Darkness Falls, or uh, Seven Days to Die for a while, you kind of get used to the POIs, you get familiar with them. And when you're doing quests, you get sent to a lot of the ones you already know, so you know kind of where you need to go. But with the compo pack, there's a lot of POIs that you've never seen before. Which makes the game super interesting, and some of them are just set up as death traps, right? So you go in, and unless you're like super careful, you know, you're walking into a freaking bee's nest or a hornet's nest that's just going to get your ass killed, right? So you got to be really, really careful. Um, do we have... Where am I? Oh, I know where I am. Okay. Here's our mine right here. I'm just going to go down here and hit up a couple. I'm not going to do much, but uh, we're going to grab a bit here. I can double hit the stuff, so we're going to go for a few minutes, grab what I can get, and then get out of here. Man, every time my game lags now, I think there's a wandering horde coming. It's got me so paranoid. There's a bear. Yeah, and the lag bad here. Let's get out of here. I'm going to have to find new mines near the new place. I got a few thousand iron, but not much. Alright, let's just take a minute here and... Gonna do this. We'll grab this. I don't think we're gonna bother, um... Well, you know what? Fuck it, we got a second. I was gonna say I was not, not gonna bother re resetting these, but... We might as well. I mean, it's basically free resources at this point. Look at these guys. Oh, there's a hole through the wall now. Wow. He was letting his place go. Wait. Okay, I thought I saw his... Oh, shit, I dropped my spear. I thought I saw a sparkling green guy at the back there. Alright, let's get in and talk to Hugh real quick and get the hell out of here. Hugh! What up, yo? And you are... Wow, they got in here, eh? They got in here. Not my problem, though. Don't want those, eh? Excellent. Took most of it. Um, I need some stuff from you, buddy. Uh, what do you got? You got coal. Saves me having to mine it. How much? A thousand? Sure. Uh, what else do you have? Uh, that means I can put down the... Um, Thing I make some gunpowder. I should just buy the triple pocket mods. We're making good money now, so uh, let's take these. We are making good money now, so it might be worth it. Where are they? He's got two of them. Let's just do it. Get it over with. No gunpowder, huh? Uh, wow, no resources either. Dude, you're killing me here. Any hazmat? It would make up for it if you had hazmat. You do not. Well, can't have everything, I guess. Apparently I can't have anything. Um, mannequins. It's cheap plastic. Gonna do it. As long as I keep on the ammo game, we can go with just coil stuff pretty soon and I don't have to worry about much. Uh, shotgun rounds, definitely gonna buy those. Who, what do we got? 34. More shotgun rounds. We'll run with the pump shotgun tonight. I think I can make another one when we get home too. We'll go that route I think. That's probably pretty good. Hey, that's I... all you're gonna buy? I'll let you show yourself out. Oh, we already got a job for you. Crafter, tool crafting, five. Uh, need new recipes. Yeah, see, iron craft. See, it gives you these options, but I've already got all those because of the laborer class. Oh, trade routes tier two. We'll take that. We're the handful of XP, and I think we got one for you How already too, don't we? You? Yeah, we do. All right. Well, we haven't been doing your quests, so oh, what do I need here? Um, I just want to scrap this, I think. And we want to put on those triple storage pocket mods before I forget. One. And two. That should 
I mean we have full pockets. Yes, perfect. Helps a little bit. All right, let's get back to the house. Right after we murder these guys. That guy pop-tarted. He's like, still alive! Ha-ha! Free! Ha-ha! Dead! Who's back here? What's up, big boy? There's somebody inside. I'm gonna actually get rid of that. Yeah, they can get in here now. So I'm gonna have to be careful when I'm back here from now on. I'm sure I'll forget, and I'm sure I'll be like, ah, oh, wandering horror, no big deal, and then they'll just come pouring through the holes in the wall. Ah, <sighs> okay, let's get to the word base. All right, we're gonna check to see if that bear is here. I wanna try and grab a bit more nitrate powder. I can't set any uh, gunpowder going because our chem station's over at the new base, but if I can drop in here and grab like five or 600. Well, apparently not. Uh, what do we got in the bike? Um, let's just run it home then, I guess. Uh, I thought we had more time than what we do, but let's get home. It's a good thing we're not all the way across the map. Bears over there. Yeah, if you guys watched my last Darkness Falls series, I had one episode where I was like, oh, we're going to go out... We're going to go out to um, Eve and check on her. And then we drove by the two demon portals that were in the wasteland that we always drive drive by. And one of the demons uh, spit at me, hit, at me when, hit me when I was on the bike. I caught fire. I got off. I can't remember what... Some shit lagged and then my game crashed. And then... Um, i trying to remember what happened. I don't want to go downtown. I remember what happened then. I can't remember exactly what happened. Some shit happened. Wait, can I get out of here? Yeah, I can. Some shit happened. Went back to get my bike. The bike wasn't there. Or no, sorry, I had to quit out. Loaded back in. My motorcycle was gone. And I'm like, I'm standing in the middle of the wasteland. Like halfway through, the, like not even halfway through the day. Like a little later in the day. Um, the horde's coming. And I'm like... You know, I don't know how many kilometers away from where my house is, right? So I'm like, oh shit, what am I going to do? Like, I'm going to be fighting a horde standing in the wasteland. So I was able to run to Caitlin's place, which was kind of on the way home. Hoping I could find enough pieces to get, like, a motorcycle or a bicycle or some kind of mode of transport to get home with. God, this is... I'm so glad we're out of this city now. The lag is getting, like, so bad here. i got to get on this side of them. It's just the downtown. It's just the downtown. It's fine this way. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I ended up having to run home on Horde Night. Through the wasteland. We made it back just in time for the Horde to start. And I think I forgot to turn on the, the power. Inside the base when the Horde started. I think that was the only thing I had forgotten to do. We got like... Look at you guys. Just welcoming me home. It's nice to have neighbors that will come out and visit you when you come home, you know? To say, we appreciate you. We see you. We like you. We just want to let you know that we're here for you. I mean, they're here for me because they want my brains, but they're here for me nonetheless. You'll bleed out. Ah, shitty. You had to drop a bag, didn't you? I bet you there's, like, garbage in here. Now oh, seven glue. I'll take it. Oh, for fuck's sakes. You better have hazmat. Nah, apparently not. But yeah, that was... that. I gotta say, that was fun. I was so worried that we weren't gonna get back in time. Running through the wasteland... I mean... It was what it was, right? It was... It was kind of a harrowing feat in itself. But um, it wasn't as bad as, like, just being stuck out there. Now, I'm gonna have to... Block in some stuff here, I think. Let's just put you guys in there, too. Yeah, I hear you. I know, it's horrid. Anything goes in there? No. What can go... Actually, any ammo can go in here. Shotgun ammo. Do we have any... Rockets? Don't have any, eh? Damn, that would have been nice. 
Let's merge these two rocket launchers though. Get some repairs done on these guys. So that's done. Um, let's get you updated. I don't know why I'm doing it now, but apparently I am. Okay, cool. Those two. And I think for now, I love how this has turned. Oh, that's orange. Never mind. I was going to say, I love how it's turned red because you can't use it. It's like, that's not the reason. Just drop all that in there. Is there anything I need on me out of this? Wow, we didn't even get even much iron. I'm going to use that. Level 24. Where's my... There it is. Which we don't need anyway, but I want to put it in here. Oh, we were going to try and make a shotgun. So, pump shotgun, we need... Shotgun long barrel, parts, receiver, long barrel, stock, and then we need one oil. Oil, oil, oil. Yeah, I made a shit ton of oil, so we got tons of it now. Alright, um, pump shotgun, craft, cool. Now, uh, we don't need these guys in here. Oops. You know what, we haven't, well, we needed that at the end of the horde, so we'll take it with us. Those guys can go in there. Uh, the Winchester we'll leave behind. That can go. Those guys can all stay in here. I wish I had more time. But it's my fault. We don't have a lot of... Um, we don't have a lot of that ammo, so we'll leave that there. I need to take the junk turret with me because we took it out of there. Those three come. This guy comes with me. Repair materials. The M4. Shotgun ammo. Grenades. We need those. I think that's all we need, right? Um, shotgun's going to be in the main slot, but we're going to get that updated. That'll be the third weapon, I think. Because this guy will be second. You down past there. You there. Let's bring you down and get you loaded. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. We're good to go, I think. Um, what was I looking for? Shit, I was looking for something. Um, oh, one of these guys. Right? I don't know if we're going to get any uh, behemoths or anything tonight. There's, there's a possibility that they're going to show up. Um, let's take all the shotgun ammo, simply because... Okay, the power's turned on in here. I can hear it running. I don't think there's anything else that I'm missing. This guy. Okay, modify. I think we're still fine on time. We'll modify you. I'm gonna try and get a lot of working with the shotgun tonight. And we'll put you in there for repairs. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, now, they did do some damage in here last time. Uh, do I have time? I don't think I can attach. Yeah, I don't think I got enough time. We'll put some stuff in here. It's not the best, but it's going to have to do. I don't want them destroying my shit in here. Okay. I guess that's alright for now. We'll just see how it is when we get in here. Block those up. Now, in theory, they should go around. I'm going to block this up too. Don't think it matters, but uh, close that. Alrighty, well, let's get over to the Horde base. Reload. We're reloaded. That's on. I, I know I put some ammo in here. So we should have a, 
over a stack of ammo, I think, in here now. Yeah, we're good with we're good with ammo. Uh, we need any repairs up here. Tiny bit, not much. I know I said I wasn't going to repair too much here, but we do have some repair materials, so let's make sure the most important parts are uh, secure. Like right here should probably be the max it can be in case the demo goes off again. Those bodies will just slow the zombies down. Yeah, come on, buddy. Bring it in. Walkway should be good, I think. Alright, that's fine. Clear up the vomit mess here. Yeah, the new base is going to be far more secure than this. But this is good enough. Ooh, they did some work on that. Those are good. All right, well. Good as it's going to be, I guess. Let's get you turned on. Now, I didn't bring anything down to repair these guys, but they shouldn't be that damaged. Yeah, a little bit. Do I have mechanical electrical parts on me? I don't have mechanical electrical parts on me. Yeah, it figures. That's all right. Let's get you back down here. Okay. Once again, hopefully it's going to be a low-maintenance horde. I'm glad we had the extra day this time. Should be low-maintenance. In theory. Alrighty. That can come down. That can go up. 500 and something rounds of the shotgun. 500 rounds there. Over a thousand rounds of this guy. Yeah, we alright. In theory, we alright. Right? In theory? Put you down. Let's bring you down to here. Actually, no, I'm gonna put you there. Actually, we can just eat you right now then. That can come down. Uh, extra bandages. Just in case. I don't have to go fishing for them. Alright, let's see what we got tonight. Come on, fuckers. Bring it in. It's time to potty. Looks like we got a couple of slow movers. Those are the guys that were probably like wandering around out here. Here they all come. So there's a um, a uh, power, power slam, I think, for these uh, turrets that Hits like automatically knocks the zombies back. So I want to get one for the uh, at least the farthest turret, so it automatically pushes them off. Man, this is going to be like the other thing we're going to have on our, our our new horde base is um... yes, proper lighting. So I'm going to light up all the walkways and everything so you guys can really see what's going on. I mean, it's pretty obvious that they run up, they get punted off, and then they run around and they come back. Who's bang- They're Somebody's banging on some shit down there now. I didn't go back in and replace those stairs. I wonder if there's an issue with the stairs down there now. I don't really care. Because like I said, this might be the last horde here. I'm going to try and push in the next couple of days to um, get the new horde base up and running. And we've got a good plan. We talked about it a little bit at the end of the last episode, what I want to do. I just have to make sure I have enough concrete blocks for it. I think I've got 250 concrete blocks right now, but that's not even enough for the base. Like, it, when you're building a 7x7, seven seven, we might go 9x9, nine nine, but I'm building a 7x7 seven seven block house. And when you build a 7x7 seven seven block house, it's got to be 5 blocks high, plus 1 block for underground. So that's a, a, around 300 blocks right there just for the base. And then you got to build the walls up and out after that, right? Which is like a couple hundred more at least. And then, the, then we need stuff for the catwalk. So we're going to need about a thousand blocks, which means we really need to up our uh, concrete game. So now that I've talked about it, I'm thinking that 
we either got to do mining ooh, in the next couple of episodes to get enough material to be able to do that or we're going to have to come back here a couple more times. I think once the behemoths show up here, this base is over. Um, I don't think we, um, I don't think we, uh, stay here any longer. Because this base doesn't have a fall black to it, right? Like once the, um, once they've, I, I, and I got concrete on the outside too, right? So, apparently the, uh, dem I, it's not a demolisher, what is he, um, there's like one of the behemoths that's like, uh, does a lot of block damage. And it's like 500 or something per hit. So, he can quickly, or is it 500 or, I can't remember how much it is. I think it's 500 per hit. But he'll pull this place down in no time. I mean, the good thing about it is he's like, we're standing right there. A little too far. Charge a little less. There we go. So, I mean, we'll be standing right here to shoot him, but still, it's like... Oops. You know, they're going to be doing a crap ton of block damage. And I think we can get ready with another Molotov here. Yeah, perfect charge. Nice. At least the Molotov, I mean... it. It doesn't do permanent damage to these guys because a lot of them regen, but at least it gives me the opportunity to, like, shoot them and have their regen kind of being negated by the flame at the same time. Can I get that guy? He's kind of at the extreme range. There we go. Wow. Excellent. Still on the first wave zombies here. Damn it. Yeah, it's going to be a lot better. We're going to be a, be a far more successful shooting from the ramp on the new base. Because the sledge comes after where we're shooting. So they'll be coming up. We'll be shooting them. Then they go past us and get knocked off by the sledge. So whoever we don't kill... Um, we'll get punted. Hopefully. And the big guys that get by, we can at least see them go by. So we know, you know, at least who's going to be, um, potential for being at the door. Thought I bought the extra shotgun ammo. I don't feel guilty about using it now. We'll be at a point, though, like I said, we'll be at a point where we won't have to worry too much about ammo. Here comes the next wave. Yeah, because, we'll, I mean, we can start selecting our targets, too, at some point. Really kill just the guys we want to kill. And if I can get up, if I can get dart traps and stuff set up as well. Damn it. Um, some kind of other traps at the main door, then I can ignore those guys at the door. These guys sometimes have pages we want, but not her. Dog. Wow, that's a big... Uh... He had to think about being electrocuted there for a second. He's like, I'm not electrocuted. Wait, yes I am. Get rid of the explodey boys. And the guys that can do good damage. Like that guy. Whee! And that will be gone. That leaping like right up from down here at us will pretty much be gone. Did the sledge kill that guy? I think it did. Up, skater boy. Apparently not your head. Almost no bags dropping tonight. It's kind of sucky, but... Oh, hey. 
Ah, yeah, two for almost a two for you. Ah, damn it, you duck. That's actually not bad from that range. Damage is kind of okay. What do we got left? 300 and something? We gotta get some uh, points on this thing. Shoot at the biggest target to get the most number of hits. Yeah, we pretty much negated those guys being effective anymore. Electric fence, anytime. There you go. God, this is so terrible. Take your loot, though. Oh, a little bit of ammo. Another M4. M60. Ooh. That's not bad. That's a big white. That was a big white. Ooh, I think I got her midair. We should drop the bag too, so hopefully it's something good. It's really the um, lab techs we want. The lab technicians and the um, hazmat guys are the two most important ones now. The lab techs will drop the uh, red pages that we need for the advanced um, skill tree. And then the uh, other guys for the hazmat uh, fiber, hopefully. M4 is okay, but it's really meant to be shot straight down like this. Having to track guys across with is difficult. At least the shotgun, you're only firing one round, really, so... It's a little easier to track somebody. With the shotgun choke, too, though, you can see how narrow the beam is on this thing, right? But then if I switch to the M4, it's a lot wider, so there's a, more of a chance that I'm going to miss unless I zoom in. And then when I zoom in, it's like hard to get every round on the target, right? Unless you're right here when they're running straight into you, which is what our new base will be. So like every round pretty much will be landing on what we want to hit. It's been such an easy evening. Holy crap. Yeah, it's been so easy tonight. We haven't really gotten anything dangerous, which is nice. That'll change really soon, though. Like, I haven't even heard any birds either. Did we turn this on? We did, didn't we? Yeah, because the electric fence is on. They're coming. Why oh, hey, you? He was angry. Damn it. Yeah, there'll be no ledge for them to land on in the next base. Ooh, nice one. Yeah, there'll be no ledge for them to land on. They might, like there's a small plate that they could stand on, but they can't actually hit me from where they are, so I'll be able to just tilt down and kill them. Without actually worrying about hitting a hatch or anything, right? 300 and something rounds left. Demo coming. Into the military, guys. Let's switch it up. Punt him. Where did he go? Kill some of these tougher guys. We got lots of ammo here, so. Got the recoil on this thing.
Yeah. Uh, where'd the demo go? Did we kill him? Oh, there he is. Well. That wasn't me. That was the, that was the, the, the turret. That wasn't me. Who, who's spitting? It's a bird, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna suffer, I get it. Oh, bigger guys. Is that another demo? You slow everybody down, buddy. Don't hit the button or we're screwed down there. I don't want to have to repair that anymore. Hey, what's up? He's just he's just taking a nap. He's sleeping. Fuck off. What do we got here? Eh, yeah, nothing. Oh, we got hazmat fiber. Nice. Or hazmat stuff that we can convert to fiber. White down. Where's the demo? Where is he? Did he, maybe he died. Or he's probably wailing on a wall somewhere. God, the recoil. We need a better version to get recoil reduction on this thing. There he is. Come on, pop that head. There's another one. There we go. Come on, stun him. Stun him. Oh, we got him. I gotta get him from over here, though. Getting a little laggy over here, too. Is that a cop in there? I have no way of telling. Ah, shit. There he is. Ooh, skeet shooting. Damn it. Gone. Shit. Oh, demo. Ah, uh, he's far enough away. Oh, he uh, maybe he killed. Oh, well. I guess we have to build a new base. <laughs> I don't want to have to add. Oh, man. Not much I can do about that. Another demo down there. Fuck off. You're gonna blow up, blow up down there. I might try and leave those guys to the end and just go melee them. It might be, well, I don't know. The lag will probably get us killed. That'll help a little bit down there, I think. Well, there's the morning, so... Kind of saved by the bell. Ah, damn it. Mo, fuck off. Come on, get a headshot. Headshot, nope. Headshot. Well, he's dead. Well, fuck. <laughs> Dig that hole a little deeper, why don't you? All right, well, turn that off. Yeah, that's a problem. Deal with these guys.
Come on, buddy. Shit, you knocked me off, you bastard. Alright, I guess we go shotgun. Little higher. Little higher. Well, see what I mean about the pillars though, right? Like, it's not coming down. It's just, it's kind of the reason why you need to have this is all at least one layer, sometimes two layers of like steel, thick steel. Like once it's steel, that number of demos won't matter. And then later on, um, the number of demos will taper off because they, be they that was nice. Because they cease to become like, as threatening as some of the other zombies. Like the behemoths and things like that are far more threatening. And when they spawn in, you know, demos are like the least of your worries. Alright, so how do we do? Not very well. We got one, two things for hazmat. We got another red card. Or three things for hazmat. Another red card. Let's just use that. So, I mean, yeah, whatever. Oh, a couple more bags over here. And at least in the new base, if we're using um, the way it's set up anyway, we should be able to um, get a lot more um, a lot more kills and a lot more bag drops. At least that's the intention. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here. I got to decide now. We got a day to decide. I mean, I could fill this in with cobble. And we go cobble for the next horde. If we have to stay here. Someone died in here? Really? We got some ammo back too, which is nice. So shotgun ammo, we got 350. 400. Yeah, so we use like several hundred rounds of each. Which isn't bad. I think we can... You know, I think we can safely maintain that for the next little bit. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, we got another piece of hazmat up here. So we can actually start getting radiation ready stuff. Getting that going. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, when we come back tomorrow, we'll most likely load up some stuff. Go to the trader. Um, we're not going to go to Hugh because he doesn't restock for a while. Uh, we'll go out to uh, our new place. And... Uh, probably do that quest first but I gotta get everything sorted here we'll do the quest first I'm gonna leave everything that's like horde related here um, yeah I'll leave all the horde related stuff here because um, I got a feeling we'll be fighting the next horde here as well as much as we'd like to be able to move to the new place I don't think that's gonna happen uh, not for a little bit anyway but I'm in the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.